So one of the way that technology try, or technologists in particular try to imagine um, privacy is, is a zero one binary game. Something is either public or it is private and thus me only. And this is not some, this is not how people imagine privacy as part of everyday life. Their idea of privacy is very nuanced and very contextualized within their particular group. So somebody can see something as a private bit of knowledge when all of their friends know, but none of the none of the adults know, or when everybody at work knows, but nobody knows uh, outside of work. I mean, that's the basic idea of corporate privacy. And so privacy is always sort of moving depending on what the context is. Well, social network sites make ID certain things about public and private really complicated because they assume that you can turn these on or off, that things are either public or private, and that they don't give you the flexibility to deal with the nuance of everyday bits and what goes on. So when people actually deal with information, they also just assume that some things are just harder to find out. That yes, everybody could find this out if they, if they put the effort in, but who's really going to put the effort into finding this out? So a few years back, Facebook created a new feature, um, and it was called the News Feed. And the News Feed as, um, basically took all of the updates of, from all of the people's profiles and broadcast it to one solid um, feed. So the idea was that when you logged in, you would get this feed of all of the information about all of your friends and what all of them had done on the site. So you would find out that um, Bob and Dan just broke up, um, and when you thought they were getting married, you would find out that you know two people are now friends, you would find out that, um, uh, that somebody had commented on somebody's page, somebody had updated their pictures, and you would get this running list not of things that you know those your individual friends told you should be on this this list but of what auto, you know functional features or functional things they had done and so these were implicit uh, information instead of um, instead of explicitly shared information it was really shocking to people it's not that any of this information was not previously available but you had you had to have been stalking bob's page to find out that he had broken up you weren't going to be informed of it you, you had to know it, and you had to go back to his page every day and be like, hmm, I seem to remember yesterday that he was definitely with you know, his boyfriend, but now they're not together. So you had to keep that in mind. And now you were being broadcast this with a nice little broken heart. This really complicated people's, people's uh, feelings about Facebook. And they, they talked about it as a rupture of privacy. They were like, ah, you know, th this is this isn't right. This is this is this is taking this is making my privacy, the, breaking my privacy at every turn. And Facebook, the company, was very confused by this. They were like, no, 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 no. This was all public data. We we haven't done anything. We just made it easier. We made it more efficient. We made it better and and faster. And everybody's like, but no, you changed the whole rules of privacy. And there therein saw the difference of how people conceptualized it. The company assumed that you know. Making something more efficient didn't change its, its publicness because its publicness was simply the fact it was available on the profile in the first place. Whereas most users saw this and said, actually, there's a scale of publicness. Yes, that was public, but I had to have been stalking my friends' pages to find that out. And stalking, you know, if I was stalking, it sort of has mixed, mixed feelings. I wouldn't admit to the fact that I was stalking. I, you know, I, I stalk, but don't tell. Um, but now I'm, I'm being forced to stalk. I'm being forced to stalk every one of my friends. And that's very, very confusing, and, and it really changed people's sense of it. And they, and they got very upset because they had no controls. And so, interestingly enough, they leveraged the feature, the news, the news feed feature, to create a group um, that was basically people against the, you know, the private, the, um, the news feed, uh, you know, basically yelling back at, at Facebook. And they managed to collect 700,000 users in a matter of only a few hours, right? Shocking Facebook to no end, basically saying, you know, demanding, a demanding Facebook changed it. Facebook, to their credit, uh, made a decision to actually add fe uh, features, make features available for people to, to decide what they would make available on the newsfeed and what they wouldn't. And the newsfeed has become sort of a, a core feature of Facebook, something that people now just take for granted and have to work their way around. But it also really limits some of the things that people choose to, to write. They're much less likely to put that they're dating somebody for fear that when they break up, they might have to announce that as well. And they actually take the news feed into their decision-making processes in terms of what content that they actually contribute. Um, at the same time, you know, people don't aren't very good with, with um, uh, privacy settings. Just because it's now been made available doesn't mean people have changed it. What they've changed is their practice. 
So this is also another interesting lesson for how people deal with social media. They want the, they want the settings, they want the privacy settings so that they have the ability to have some control over it, but they don't want to use it. They want, they want to know that they're there, but they'll change their behavior before they'll actually change those settings. And so that, that issue of control is often an issue of how do they conceptualize it? What is their conceptual model for this, for this space? How public or private do they think it is? If they put up photos, are those photos going to be broadcast? If so, do they choose not to put up photos rather than putting up photos and changing the privacy settings? Often that's the case.